Hello everyone, this is Lee, George and Jackie of the Golden Waffles and uh, this is a video review of Garshasp the Monster Slayer. It's a pretty tricky name. Hello. Pretty tricky name. Oh, Loads of people complaining that they can't like say it and shit. Garshasp. Basically this is a hack and slashy kind of game, kind of, I don't know if it's an RPG really, nah, but you, really. Can, you can upgrade your, well you can't, but upgrade your weapons. But um, I suppose the basic story is that like, I think that's your brother. Yeah, some your guy brother's... has killed your brother and he's stolen your like magical golden mace or something. You're on an epic quest to find your mace and stop yeah. the evil guy. Honestly, the story wasn't that good. It wasn't gripping. I mean, yeah. wasn't enthralled by it. Right. But yeah, it's it's a. It's a basic hack and slash game, really. Um, As you'll see now, the graphics, I kind of like the graphics, yeah. they look a bit cartoony though. Yeah, like, um, the cutscenes are where the graphics really excel. You just saw one there. It's kind of, it's kind of glowy though. Mm. I've got to say, this is um, an indie game, and the studio is only a core team of about nine people. Apparently, only 30 people are actually involved in the whole. Like making and publishing, I think. That's pretty crazy because it it is a nice game and like um I've been playing it through and like enjoying it. Yeah, well, yeah, I've been enjoying it and it's been like smooth, you know. Like normally with new games, I'm expecting a lot of bugs. And the only thing I didn't like about this game is that when you block by pressing the middle button, it blocks any attack from anywhere, and you don't. There's like there's no penalty for just staying there blocking. It blocks every single attack. Even from behind. Yeah, it, you just move and block everything. Oh yeah, what mm. you saw there was um, like a finishing move. You have... Um, if you press E, which is the action button. Vulnerability. Yeah, you can't get attacked while you're doing it. Which is, but. And like for bigger enemies like this one, um, you have to weaken him first, as you can see me doing here and get owned a little bit. Yeah, you're quite lucky to stay alive. Yeah, look, I'm on no health, literally <laughs> none. And then I get yeah. my finishing move in. You have to do like a little key combination when they pop up. And it's quite cool. The combat is I'd quite imagine nice. pretty gratifying. The combinations would get more complicated. Yeah, they, yeah, do. they um, do. I got to a stage where I had to do three combinations. Three? Oh, three. <laughs> well, I'm not that yeah. far through. But it's, I don't know, the combat, I, it just... It's not original, really, but it's hard to be original it's with just, combat for yeah, a hack and it's just slash game. Slash. And it's slightly disappointing now, you only have one weapon. I suppose you can unlock um, combos where if you press like, left key and then three times and right key you do some crazy spinny roundy thing. But yeah. it's it's a bit stale, you tend to just press E on each uh, enemy to do the kill and move and it yeah. just Freak seems out. to... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, and the whole invincibility when you're doing it is just cheap. Um, yeah. The camera, it's fixed. Depending oh, on yeah. Where. Yeah, we'll talk about that a bit later on yeah. when we've got a better example. Yeah, and mm. this is like the first boss battle. You put against him pretty early on. I, I thought this was quite hard. -ish. Yeah, I had no idea yeah, how to just, beat him. You just need to use the abilities that's they just, just taught you. They just throwed out a. Throwed out? Yeah, but he has a, a lot of health and you have. Not as much. Help. It it's like once you get the tactics of blocking when he attacks and yeah, it sounds quite simple. Yeah, but like there I'm doing. It is a bit long-winded the fight. It's quite. So yeah, I just jumped his punch. I saw you jumped on his knees earlier. I know that was crazy. Oh. <laughs> also, um, when you defeat enemies or you find these little statue things, you get two different orbs. One I think is experience. Yeah, the red one's experience, experience. and Blue says one's new health. abilities. And the white one is health. Um, yeah health. You get f you need four orbs, one pocket of health or whatever they said. Yeah. Yeah. So they increase your health. Oh, this is. Oh, this is um a kind finger. of a level up. But I I, th I think I got it off smashing a vase with experience. Yeah, in yeah, here, yeah. You get some experience there. Which um leveled me up and like you can see like I've unlocked a new move or whatever and something I was quite uh displeased with seeing was a rage meter in the oh, game. Yeah. Like, 
Uh, I, I don't think know. he even used any of these special moves. I think it was. It's pretty easy to fill up, and the moves aren't like that amazing. Yeah, the uh, rage meter is... moves kind of suck. Oh, this is this where the is camera where the comes camera, into yeah. play. Like, oh, yeah. I'm trying to jump around this thing here, and the camera's fixed. And um, it's not fixed, but you can't control the camera yeah. at all, and it moves like predetermined. Right. Yeah. But it the could, problem is, jump if, if you're going forward, you move relative to the camera direction. So, if you can imagine, you're walking forward, and as the camera moves around, you move around with it. But the problem is that if you're doing a run-up onto a ledge or something, <laughs> the camera will move about, and you'll Change end up... direction, just yeah. before you... And you'll end up jumping like here, Red George. It's like I, yeah, I'm having to change like my direction like constantly because I'm not playing on a gamepad. I'm playing on a keyboard, so like it's yeah, I'm can't. pretty limited to like my movements when I don't have camera control on a game. That's why you tend to see him as the camera's moving. Yeah, right, you tend look, to see I almost fell off there because I didn't know which way to move my character. Yeah, that this is that's one of the things I um, I reckon. It'd be all right if you like put camera controls on, into the mouse. Yeah, or if just like um, it was just a bit smoother, really, like the whole yeah. camera control. Because I've played games with fixed camera control, and not like here, it's not too bad. It's just when it turns, when you're trying to see your hair, it's turned a little bit to the left, so you had to jump to the right to. Yeah, a slight adjustment, but. It's that's, just that's one when of the you're things spinning really... round things that it kind of messes you up. Yeah, it is a bit. I think it's. I don't know. It probably would be a lot easier to play with the game controller. I'm not sure if you can though. Yeah, um, but I think you can. You, like yeah. you have the camera controls on the bumpers in the back. Mm. Well, it'd just be easy to move about because you're not fixed to forward, left, right, and back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And now, um. I, I kind of liked that this hack and slash wasn't all hack and slash. There were these like crazy assault course jumps and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and this, oh. I, at first, I was like, "Wow, this is cool. This you can slide down these walls with your knife." Like mm. little mini game. Kind of. Kind yeah. of. Yeah. I actually had a problem with this because I don't know if it was a bug or just me repeatedly failing it. But at a certain point, I could just not get back on the wall. Yeah. Here, you disconnect from the wall and have to recatch the wall. And it's like halfway down. I can I can do I can fall off it as many times as I want and get back. But when I get to a certain point on it, I just can't hook back on. Maybe you just a noob. But I don't know, but I could do it before. Look, I'm hooking on like a boss. Look at me go. I can't remember when it was. Yeah, hey, you already fallen off like three times there. And um, no, I can fall off and reattach. It's just on one certain bit. I can't reattach. I have to say though, just went I did area. feel like this game was kind of. I know it's supposedly not like it was um, made for PC and is just coming out on Xbox Arcade, is it? Well, um, yeah. they're planning it and it's also in development for Linux port as well. Yeah, it just, it kind of felt like a console game, really. Like, mm. I don't know if them going for PC was the right move, to be honest. I'd prefer oh. it on a console. Me too, with the whole, like... Oh. I should have tried it with my gamepad, really. Yeah. Oh, I like this. Look, they gave me a boat. Oh. It was... You know, amazing. <laughs> I've got a boat. I uh, didn't know the controls for the boat. You figures out you have to mash E. Fire attack! Oh, yeah, right. they all like dive out the trees and I was like, get a hard boat. Just throw them in the this water. This is um this game's available on Steam for fifteen pounds or twenty dollars, but in the first week of release it's ten percent off. Yep, so like <laughs> thirteen pounds fifty or something. Okay. Yeah. This is I just put together a little fail compilation for you. Here's me. <laughs> trying to grab this enemy to do a finisher and <laughs> apparently I couldn't grab him because like I was using my DNS to like move and I was like okay I'll go over here move the camera move the camera I'll grab him a bit <laughs> nope that's not working I'll slash him a bit and oh oh fuck I pressed a random button and he's <laughs> slamming me down Getting with his sword because I failed the combo <laughs> yeah uh, I'm not too sure if I really dislike this game I don't know some Things of it really kind of <laughs> like let it down, but it's quite nice, I think. It, ish. Yeah, it depends what sort of games you <laughs> like, really. Yeah, I got hit by a rock there, falling. <laughs> and leg across look, the screen. Oh, I ran out of Yeah, health. I swear that's the bit I. Maybe I you got hit by the rock. Yeah. 
there, he just refused to, like, <laughs> stab his knife in the wall. So, like, I just died, ran, jumped at the wall, hit oh for him to stab the knife in, and he just doesn't hear. I don't know about water, so I jump in the water. Used to uh, games where you have, like, swimming. And... <laughs> you are terrible. I know, look, a firework hits me here. I ran past that, it didn't hit me. <laughs> it hit, and I didn't know where <laughs> I was going, <laughs> so I just tested that way, and it just fell off. Because, like, I couldn't oh, see God. anything that direction, and so I was just like, hmm, I wonder if there's, like, a secret around here, and, yeah, the secret was just death. I think that the only problem with this game is, I think I heard on the Steam forums that there's only three hours of gameplay. There's not. Well, I'm pretty sure that's, that's wrong. That's why. Ends if you're good at it or not. Okay, yeah, I've probably played it for three hours and, <laughs> you know. Second level. <laughs> yeah. mm. I am actually on the second part of it. Well, guys, um, those were our views on Garshasp the Monster Slayer. Let us know what you think of the game and thank you for watching.